Hi, hey, y'all. So I'm editing the video. Y'all about to watch right now. Me and Nola got her over here in the seat. She about to do a little bit of editing, right? Giveaway is live. As y'all can see, towels. You got air freshener, wash bits, soap, interior clean, and some spray wax, y'all. And you get this bucket right here. Plus, another type of tea, but it won't be these colors. It's gonna be uh, probably black or white. All right, y'all, so, so what we gonna do for this one, this giveaway, is gonna be the same thing, except I'm gonna have y'all hashtag something. So make sure y'all spell this right. Uh, what y'all gonna hashtag is just a kid from my mood. That should be easy. So make sure you hashtag that, just that, in the comments down below, and that's how I'm gonna pick the winner. And I'm gonna have it exactly how to spell it. Just a kid from M-A-M, Oh, you it's gonna pop up on the screen there's a kid from mamu that's what i want you. and go follow the uh non-toxic page it's ntvot's on instagram i'm gonna have the link down below i'm gonna have it popping up i'm also gonna have a little black screen play after this so y'all can so i i can make sure that y'all do the right things to go um i'm gonna run this giveaway it's a free giveaway you don't have to buy anything I'm gonna run this giveaway till the Wednesday video, all right? So I'm gonna give this video till Wednesday to for you to win the Chemical Guys bucket and a free, I see, non-toxic tea. So um, let's go ahead, y'all can go ahead and enjoy this video. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Um, today we are we gonna be talking about as y'all seen the title LSA or a torch storm Which one would y'all go with and I'm just gonna give y'all my opinion and what I'm most likely will go with in the near future and I know some of y'all thinking oh, where's the G8 Valerie's in the G8 today. We're gonna be working on the Grand Prix also while we talking about this The reason why I'm making this video is because I want to hear y'all opinion y'all opinions and hopefully I'll get a couple of people who has a torque storm on their GA or uh, who and I I mean I obviously y'all know Fez Fez has an LSA so I know how the LSA is on the GA but there's there's like not that many people with a torque storm and when I look it up on YouTube or and I'm looking for videos and people like just looking for stuff about it it's more so pop it pops up for other cars but not the G8 so a while back when I first started my YouTube channel y'all uh, I had 170 subscribers that's crazy I thought I was doing something big but I'll show y'all the message I hit torque storm up looking to see if they'll do a sponsor if they'll sponsor me um, if they'll sponsor my G8 so I can make some daily content with the torque storm so I may try one more time and I'm not trying to get nothing for free maybe some type of discount or something to get a torque storm and put it on the G8 and basically daily drive it and tell y'all how it is daily driving it how it is taking it on long trips if that is even possible you know uh we know what it, it can do on the track we already know that but i think a lot of people a lot of people who get into this type of stuff a lot of y'all if y'all kind of sort of like me i like to race but not i don't race all the time and it's more so just to have you know if, a, if somebody want to get a little you know a little crazy so i don't know like i feel like i'm not the only person like that I, like i would love to have a supercharger in my car bring it to the track but what's most important to me is the is driving it every day how is the drivability with a torque storm so y'all tell me down below why which one would you get and why down below in the comments the rack opinion started leaking again on the grand prix i can do the whole thing at the house uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to take the rack and pinion and all that stuff at, off at the house. I so I went buy some more tools, some Harbor Freight tools, but, and then I, I, I'm also buying a little tool bench from the neighbor next door. I'm gonna get one from him. So I'm gonna be detailing his motorcycle and then I'm giving him some cash for the tool so I can put all my tools inside there and his own wheels and stuff. And I can just roll it around and stuff. And that way it'll help me keep organized because I have like a little small toolbox, but that doesn't really, I don't know. It just it just tools inside there, and I have to take everything out to look for stuff. So having the little toolbox is gonna help a bunch. The one on wheels. I know some of y'all like, bro. You don't even have the goddamn cam in that you said you was gonna get. Whenever you hit a thousand subscribers, I know y'all. Everything is here. So 
I'm giving y'all an update. I haven't even made an update video about that, but if you watch this video, here's the update. Everything is here to do the cam. We just waiting on some room at Gus shop. And then once he has, uh, once he kind of slow down and he has some room to put the G8 in there, we're gonna start doing the cam swap. Um, so that's the update on that. Hey y'all, so y'all see that um, I already got the wheels off and stuff. Took that off as y'all saw a little fast video I did. Y'all can see that it's leaking again. Um, and it's like underneath, it's like where it's pressed in. And so what we're gonna do is, so taking it, I shouldn't have any trouble really taking it off. I have to take the sway bar boats off. Yeah. So I gotta take the sway bar bolts off. And then once I take that off, I gotta unhook it. Yeah. Yeah, let me see. I gotta take the little control. I gotta take the little tie rides off right here. That shouldn't be that hard at all. And then the sway bar bolts on both sides. And then I can put a jack underneath to kind of hold up the um, subframe. And then I can lower the subframe down, which shouldn't be hard at all. And that way I can wiggle the, um, and there's two connections at the top and I can wiggle that. That way when I take those off, I can wiggle it out of there and go pick up the new one. So I finally got me something to organize the tools. Um, it's not brand new, used, got it from my neighbor. Um, like I said, I'm gonna be doing his bike and I gave him some cash for this, but it's just so I can have something to put all my tools in and not have it in that little box right here. So I'm about to go ahead and start taking apart the car. Y'all, I get so carried away whenever I'm doing, I'm trying to work and do a video because not everything will be going the way I want it to, but I gotta show y'all, got this way bar loose, got it back. Cause you got it, I gotta get back there. So I got that loose. I couldn't get this off, off the sway bar. The other one came off with no problem. This one right here just gave me all kinds of problems. So I just took it off from the top and it goes like this. So got that off. I uh, got the tie rides off. Um, all that's left is to, there's two bolts underneath there I need to get to. I gotta, I gotta put a uh, socket on one side, wrench on the other side. I need to get to those bolts and then uh, but I gotta put something underneath it to hold the subframe up and I can drop the bolts and I can lower it a little bit that way I'm able to slide the um the rack and pinion out and I also have those two those two lines those are gonna be the hardest to get to I already know since I'm on the ground but I gotta go uh, let me go ahead and get started I'm gonna try to put this on my head though. I just gotta take this bolt off right here once I take that off I can put a jack, the little small one I have, I'll put it underneath here, put it by right here. And then I'll start taking off these bolts for the subframe to start lowering it. And I'll use that jack to lower the subframe enough to where I can rip that racket pigeon out. So, um, this ain't easy, man, I ain't gonna lie. It's easy when you got like a lift. Like when we did it, I guess it was easy, but doing it on my own. It's not easy, but it's rewarding because I get to, I get to, um, you know, it's rewarding because now I'm doing it myself and I learn better when I do it on my own. All right, so I got that off. I'm about to take this, the jack, put it, jack it up right here. And they start taking these boats off right there. Oh. <sighs> 
take a little break. I just got those top lines to get off and that's it. And it's always like the last minute stuff that always keeps me from getting what I gotta get. So I need I need a wrench. I need a, a size 18, 18 millimeter. <laughs> Lola, come on up. So I know y'all I look a mess, but this dog just peed on me. Come on, man. Hi. I was gonna take Nola with me, y'all, but she just peed on me, so she don't get to come on the on the trip. Comment down below, y'all. I want to hear y'all opinions. All right, this is the first, probably the first, and maybe not so many times I'm gonna ask to hear somebody's opinion of now. But maybe I can get in touch with somebody at Torque Storm, and maybe I can get some type of sponsorship with them to get a Torque Storm, put it on my car, and give y'all daily videos. All right, yeah, so I finally got it out like I saw, bro, and that took forever to do. Um, let me tell you something that I'm learning. You gotta have the right tools to be doing this stuff. I mean, if you don't have the right tools, it's gonna take you forever. So I had to go back and go buy an 18 millimeter. And once I got the 18 millimeter, it was perfect. Like I can't even, I couldn't even complain that it was coming right off. So that's my biggest issue is that I can do this stuff like, it's just, I don't be having the right tools or I, I don't be knowing also what tools to use to do it. So um, I'm learning y'all. So pulling that wrecking pinion off, that is not easy. I'm gonna let y'all know that right now. That's not easy to do by yourself. But y'all see underneath it, I got my big jack holding it up for now on this side and then the little jack is on the other side. Um, I don't trust that little jack, so I went ahead and put my big jack underneath there. So nobody steals it. I went ahead and took the pole off of it. So nobody can take that jack. Um, but yeah, y'all, so I know this upload has been a little bit a mixture between the two, but it's meant to be a discussion and, and also just a daily vlog also. So y'all let me know what y'all think. Should we do LSA or should we do Torque Storm? I already know what I'm going with, but I want to see what my subscribers' heads are. Um, which one would they be? Y'all would be more interested, interested in, even though I already, I already know, like I said, what I'm gonna go with. Now, this won't be now. It won't be like right now or right after the cam swap and stuff. I still got to do the cam swap. It'll be later on, and once the grant, it'll be later on once the channel is growing even more even though we 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 i'm getting up there i'm 1500 subscribers that's a big hey i didn't think i was gonna get that many people so once the channel is getting up there making a little bit more money um i'll get a torque storm and throw it on the g8 and give y'all some daily content or if anybody knows somebody at torque storm that won't, and they want to do a sponsorship i'll probably hit them up before after this video but if they want to do work something out i'm not asking for the supercharger for free of course but let's we can work something out to where i'm gonna be doing the daily content for them so people can see on the ga side of things that hey maybe this is a good supercharger for for maybe this is a good supercharger for everybody um and it maybe it fits the needs of what some people are looking for so i'm thinking a lot of people are looking for a daily daily something that's not too hard on or hard on the car daily driving it but something just enough to give it that 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 extra push that it needs so um like i said somebody from torque storm see this hit me up i'm ready and willing to work with y'all so that'd be it for this video y'all thank you for watching and i hope you had i have a good day and i'll see y'all in the next one